I'm starting to realize I, I basically never use the game consoles that have been sitting on this desk, like, forever. I mean, I've used them to one extent or another, um, you know, during the, uh, the summer of uh, 2019 and at various times in the fall, but beyond that, like, they, they mostly just take up space. I, I almost never use them for anything. Um, and so they, they just kind of sit here on my desk, like, the Dreamcast basically gets no love, and I have so many games for it, um, that I, I know I'm just not gonna pick any of them up, because I've played them before, or I'm just not interested in doing it. So I've been doing somewhat of a, a cleaning house today, I guess you could say, but the problem is, is that under here... There's an absolute mess of wires uh, under under my um, computer, what do you want to call it, a computer desk. Um, and it is, it is a minefield to navigate through just because of how many things are behind this desk. And a lot of this is stuff that I've had for a very, very long time that, you know, my computer is not very good, so I don't really play very many games on it, for example, and uh, I, I had these consoles out because, you know, they were things that I could plug in, I could, I could plug these things into the computer monitor with not very much trouble, and I'd be able to play video games that way when I just really desperately needed to, or wanted to play video games, but nowadays... Nowadays, they don't they don't get very much use at all. They just kind of sit there. So I've kind of taken you know all this stuff that I've had for a very long time and you know pulled out for nostalgia's sake or just to have something to do, and I'm putting it back you know to where it once was. As to whether or not I'm gonna get to that massive massive fucking um, nightmare of cables back there eventually is to be seen. I really don't want to deal with it right now just because it's so much of a fucking hassle with how many cables are back there. And my dog is freaking out because he noticed that things changed in my room and it's concerning him. Um, like, there's just so much stuff there that it, I don't, I can't be arsed. I just, I just can't be arsed to go back and, and fix all of these things. Um, so I'm just kind of leaving them the way that they are for a while. And at least I can, I can get some entertainment out of having my laptop plugged up to the second monitor, because if my laptop's plugged into the second monitor, um, I can watch, you know, TV or whatever while I'm playing video games on my computer or browsing the internet. So for the sake of utility, this is um this this is going to work much better than just having a whole bunch of stuff on my desk that I basically never use. Um and it's not like, you know, I might not want to um pull out the PS2 again and and play it at some point. I I very well might, but I feel like there's a time and a place for that. And I don't see that time and place coming about anytime soon, especially not with the fact that I have a Switch, and uh, basically most of my gaming time goes into my Switch. If I play a video game, it's the most excitement I have towards a console. Um, on the eShop, there's so many cheap games, like, it's so much cheaper to get, you know, hours of entertainment out of the eShop than it is to buy a full Switch game. Um, but if you do want to buy a full Switch game, um, you know, used Switch games are getting really cheap. Uh, they're, you know, they've been going down in price pretty substantially. Um, so it's, it's a good market to be into right now. Um, and so in terms of gaming, all I really need are, you know, my computers and my Switch. I, I don't really need to play anything else. Like, I have my NES over there if I want to go back and play something really old. And obviously I'm leaving that plugged up, but beyond that, beyond that, there's, I don't really see much of a need to, to go back, um, to, to, to these things, like, 
all of the interests I, I could have um, in, in a video game is already pretty much satisfied with the handheld console. It's like, the Switch really is just a one-two punch. It, it takes every, you know, thing that I could want in a game console, uh, portability, um, all of the games that I'm, you know, really into, uh, the games that I grew up with, um, indie games, new things that I, I've never heard of, um, it puts all of it into a very, you know, consolidated package that's, that's easy to use and understand, and you don't have all this clutter of all these different, you know, game consoles having to go everywhere to play your favorite game because they've already ported all of your favorite games to it, you know? You don't have to have the Dreamcast sitting out, you can just play Sonic Adventure on the Switch portably in your bed, which is the way that I tend to prefer to play video games, is just in the bed. Um, and so for me, it's much, much, much better. It's a much better alternative to having all of these consoles out, and uh, it seems to be saving some room around here at least. I'm going to have a second keyboard here and a second mouse coming down from my laptop, and uh, seems to be the way things are going right now. Cleaning house. Did it, friends. We're doing we're doing double time now. TF2. TF2 and television. I I can be I can be a real ADHD boy now. Because I have simultaneous streams, simultaneous streams of information at once. The perfect life has been discovered.